John's going to lead you through a tasting of these seven wines uh, to give you a real quick grasp on varieties from around the world. Thanks for coming and have some fun. I always start with one thing. The first thing you have to understand about wine is that wine is a farmer's crop. Okay? Every bottle of wine comes from the hands of a farmer somewhere in the world. And as you know, living in an agricultural community, farmers need every penny they can get for their crop. So, here's to the farmer, thank you. He's been in the industry for a long time. He's in everything from the vineyards to the winery to the marketing to the making. He understands the complete game that is the wine world. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Peter to give you a little song and dance and tell you about this beautiful wine that comes from Nova Scotia. Benjamin Bridge is a winery that's starting literally around the corner, so we're sort of over top of the hill and just down on the other side of the ridge on White Rock Road. Uh, the climate in Nova Scotia is absolutely fantastic for, for sparkling wines and for aromatic whites. So this grape variety is, is meant to be comfortable, casual, at home. It goes great on you know, decks and wharfs and things like that. It's low alcohol. The Scout Audacity is actually only 5.5%. We've run this to about seven, and we think with our climate, it's about where we want to be, so it's lower alcohol, easily consumed, often too easily. Put your nose right in. The nose on this wine is beautiful. In, in the healthcare system in France. You want to get some air in there. The air opens up wine. That's why we give it a twirl. I can just put Burgundy on my bottle and everybody in France knows that it's a Pinot Noir. Because only Pinot Noir grow in Burgundy. But I can't use Burgundy if I'm growing a Pinot Noir in California. Winemakers like Peter, their real skill is taking different wines and blending them. We're going to drink some Zinfandel in a little while. And I can tell you, a real Zinfandel is nothing like those white Zinfandels. It's big, it's kind of in your face. Um, very, it's, it's beautiful. She is also the largest organic grape grower in South Africa. You can make crappy wine out of great grapes, but you can never make great wine out of crappy grapes. First thing I want to tell you, the world of wine is wonderful. The Shiraz grape loves heat, and it will make a grape that will give you alcohol up to 17% in the vineyard. The problem is, when you've got 17% wine, it tastes like alcohol, and second of all, after half a glass, you'd be talking to Jesus. And there is actually a man by the name of Wolf Glass. He's a little guy about this high. He's a German uh, of or German origin. There is no correlation between quality and price. Last year, the top 100 wines in the world had five wines that were over $700, and yet the average price of the top 100 wines in the world last year was $28.70. Buy a bottle of wine, taste it, and if you don't like it, never buy it again. Find the ones you like. Only drink the ones you like. Wine is kind of like people, in that you never know exactly where it's going to end up. So all wines don't necessarily get better as they get older. I can tell you right now that 99% of all the wines you buy from the liquor corporation are meant to drink now. And most people have a, a false impression that you can age a wine forever and it'll get better and better. I'd rather you buy a $12 bottle and like it than, than buy a $30 bottle that you're really paying for the label. We make white wine out of red grapes sometimes. Because if you crush a red grape, you'll notice the juice inside's white. 
Okay? And that's because all the color and the flavor in the grape is on that jelly layer on the inside of the grape. So we crush the grape up and we let it sit in a big vat in its skins. And we either punch cap it, which is when we push the cap down like this because all the skins come to the top. Or we have great big giant vats where they continually keep pouring wine over the grape to keep pushing it down. Okay? And that's how we get the color in our grape and in our wine. I don't have much more to say. Have fun, enjoy it, and it's an amazing world, the world of wine. Thank you.